Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Humble Thrift Crafter. I'm here with a Thrifty Thursday haul, so hopefully by the time I get this done today, it will be up to date. Um, I have set this up on my little temporary craft stand. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby twice, and then I went to Tuesday morning, because the Tuesday morning is, as I mentioned, closing in my state, so... I only got this uh, Maggie Home stamp. It was three twenty nine plus ten or twenty percent off, and they had some Hero Arts background stamps. But I don't know if I want to go back there or whatever, um, as I, I do have plenty of black background stamps just to start working with. But then again, it's not gonna be there for much longer for Tuesday morning. Um, <clears throat> so we went to Hobby Lobby. I found these storage boxes. They were $3.99 down to $0.99. Cents. I got two of them. They got 40 storage. So I might need to order some daubers on AliExpress or whatever. Um, and for the crafting tools, they had this really nice box cutter from $4.99 down to $1.24. And then they had this scissors from $2.79 to $0.69. Cents. Um, these were always a great price to begin with, but for $0.69, cents, I'm like, I'm always losing scissors. I really should have bought maybe two of these, but um, I liked how this feels. So ultra sharp pointed tip and a stainless steel blade, soft handle, so I thought I'd give that a try. And then for... Um, these, this is texture combs. They had this in the paper craft section. Uh, this was $3.99 down to $0.99. Cents. I thought I could use this for my jelly plate. I'm kind of thinking about whether I want to get some sticker books I've had on my list for a while to use. Um, and um, from Book Outlet. So um, we'll see. I have some things that I'd like to try out, but I really should be using more of my stickers I already have. So this one is Stickability Faith sticker pack. This was $6.99 down to $1.74. You okay? Sorry, it's just my baby girl. And, um, so I really liked the kind of chalk look. So there's lots of great sayings here that'll be great for tags. I really like this. Uh, this would be great for collage stamp. Especially these. These kind of remind me of Tim Holtz a bit. So, um, and this one, hmm, running out of room here. Uh, this one, hello. Um, I've got my baby girl with me today. Uh, this was $8.99 down to $2.24. And this is all B's. So, uh, I really liked the colors and the pattern. Give this a quick... I really like all the um, B elements in there. And some washi tape strips. I mean, for $2.24, this was a really good deal. And I like this kind of um, art. So. so there's that one. And then for the, for the um, inks, I found this was a dollar. This was seven ninety nine down to a dollar ninety nine. So for I got two Versafines. They're really nice. Twilight and Pinecone. I already have a lot of blues, and that's all they had was blues. Um, I wasn't gonna get more blues. I was more looking in uh, whites or blacks. Um, and then this is eight ninety nine down to two twenty four. This is stays on pigment snowflake. So <clears throat> that's nice. And then, um, in the paper, there are some papers that I do want to show. Oh, I forgot the embellishments. Okay. 
so I found some embellishments. These were $4.49 down to $1.12. And this might be used in a project that I have. Um, and I liked the words. Um, and then this is um, photo corners. These are used for the corners of junk journals for the covers. So this was $4.99 down to $1.24. You get eight pieces. And then, oh, <laughs> it's my baby girl. And so I, they were doing their sticker aisle, and um, they had this from two forty nine to sixty two cents. I really like these mermaids. They had a really beautiful mermaid paper pad, but I already have two that I really need to go through. Um, so I really like the foil. So I didn't realize. Um, that they were two per thing, so that'll be great. And then um, this is a embellishments label holder uh, from four ninety nine down to dollar twenty four. So there are three of them. And then um, and the other side of the paper aisle, I found these. And there are two packs of these. These are, um, there were, um, there were 50 pieces, 50 pieces, um, $5.99 down to $1.24. I would see that, I don't really see these being used on a card. I'd rather use them in my DIY jewelries. So I got two of them. Um, I thought they were really gorgeous colors. So. Um, there's that, and then I did hit the, this is from the two times, um, I did hit the wood blocks, and I might, I got quite a few. So, um, I picked up these three small ones. This is a Stampabilities, um, 2020 old truck, and then a Judikins, this surprised me, uh, this was... These were originally, oh, I don't know what the price was. Oh, $5.49 down to $137. This one was $9.49 down to $237. The Judikins are really expensive sometimes to find, especially if, you know, they're the Egyptian ones. Um, this is a Stamp Abilities. I just really like this key. Uh, this was $3.99 down to $0.99. Cents. And then I got... Hmm. Yes, um, I was surprised that they still had some Stampendous woodblock stair there, so I got this cart postel. Um, so this was originally $11.99 down to $2.99, and I started using this in my um, papers. Um, and I really, really liked these ones. These are the Sketchy Blooms. This was originally $12.99 down to $3.49. So it's a nice background stamp. I've actually watercolored this already. Um, and I really liked this wood grain one. So I picked that up. I didn't really have anything like this. Just in paper. Yes. So. My daughter's a big parrot. Um, $14.99 down to $3.74. So I like I like how this feels. This is also Judy Kins. Um, and then I got this one this is a another background stamp this is newspaper print by hero art originally uh 14.99 down to 374 so i was really excited to get that one and it's slightly bigger than the judikins one but it gives me a variety to work with uh, this is another stamp pendus this is called this is called ranunculus field so um, this was originally $14.99 down to $3.49. No, $12.99. So, really great deals on the stamps. I did find some House Mouse. Uh, they had one with a cupcake, but that was sold out. And this was $10.99 down to $2.99. Uh, this is 2019 Tea Time. So this would be cute for a Tea Time journal. Um, this is... 
stamp abilities, but I really liked this. I thought at first it was a, oh, what do you call it? Stamp headness. This was $8.49 down to $2.12. So, and then one more house mouse. This is Rose Play. Uh, 1987, but I think this block is newer. Originally $13.49 down to $3.37, and here is actually a lie. <laughs> this is Lily of the Valley. This was Amanda. Uh, yeah, $13.49 down to $3.37. Yeah, Stampendous is... Now with Spellbinders, and you can find the house, like, I think some of the house my, mouse designs on Spellbinders, but I think the house mouse, from what I've seen last time, I could be wrong, is that they're done with stamps for a while, and I think they might be finding another person to supply that, because Stampendous did the house mouse designs. So, um, and, oops, sorry. Um, I did have... I did have um, these, they still had things marked down from the wedding department, so I got two lace things. We have $12.99 down to $3.24, and um, I got one in ivory and cream, so I'd like to kind of dye this, but I, I like this color. Sorry, my daughter is very excited. She just started to walk. <laughs> um, so I found that was pretty cool. Um, there was also this uh, vignette. They had two of these. This is the only thing I got from Tim Holtz. They had yellow paper, but I have a whole pad of yellow paper to use. Um, I might need to order just the alcohol inks and just use those um, before I start using the yellow paper. This was nine forty nine down to two thirty seven, so they had two left, and I just wanted one. But when I went back the second time, that one was obviously gone. So um, I thought this was really nice. Um, and then for papers, I really only have two packs of papers. I have three. I have one paper pad. This is the, um, this is great. This is going to last me more than a few days. I already have the craft old stuff of Tim Holtz. Um, cardstock pack, 25 colors, three each. These were $24.99 down to $6.24. And they're mostly the dark jewel tone. Um, but I really like this color here. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, but if they had had a paper pad like this with different tones like that, I would have got that. It's like an oil painting. So this is, they had a lot of paper pads there, but they were not any that really stuck out to me. I mean, they were great deals, but I really just wanted more of the, um, kind of, let me back out. Um, just this tone, you know, so, I just wanted a little bit more options for darker tones. There were some lighter tones in here, but that was a good deal. Um, so, and I've got already a ton of paper pads um, that I need to go through. They were just maybe blue stash in the end. I don't know. I've been using them here and there. I just want to kind of go through all of the paper pads, pull out the ones I want, and organize them by color and theme. Um, so... This is the Farmhouse Paper Crafting Kit. Now, they had a ton of these. Um, so they have ephemera. They have these really beautiful stickers. Um, and this is what it looks like on the back. So, I mean, they were originally, they have an alphabet too. Um, but I might just give those to someone else. $6.99 down to $1.74. So, um... There's a lot of pieces in here. So, um, and this 
Next one is, I have a golden book that I'd like to turn into a junk journal, and I was just needing a few little papers. Uh, so this was, this is, oh, where is it? This was same price, and, you know, just perfect in time for Easter. That's around the corner. So here are the stickers, and then here's the alphabet. I never really use the alphabets, unless they're black and white, for just really junk journaling. Um, so here is the papers, and I like it because it's not a, you know, a thick cardstock, it's just like printed paper, and I think they're really pretty. Here's a, so this will be perfect for my junk journal. Yeah, there are 35 pieces in the kit, so, um... Yeah, and the ephemeras are pretty cool. Those will be great for some tags or something. Um, and so um, I have two more things. I just have this. Um, I went to the jewelry department, and yes, they had a lot of things on sale, but it was nothing I really wanted. I still have quite a bit to go through, and people have been getting charms, but I've got plenty of things to make charms. I've been in jewelry more than the paper crafting. So, um, this was originally $15.99 down to $3.99. I only got these brooches because I've been making DIY wreaths. Um, I loved this one. This is a, a, about six inches. This was originally $20.99 down to $5.24. So this will look really gorgeous for a thing. So, um, I might be able to use some of these. And um, so that should be everything for my Hobby Lobby haul. I'm not going back. <laughs> um, I just wanted certain things from there. Um, and um, so I went to the thrift store and I found this lace um, for a dollar. So, and you get quite a bit of it. it. It's already damaged, but I think it's at least like three yards, but it's, it's quite wide. So, let me back out just a bit, but it's really gorgeous. Um, I kind of want to dye this like blue and just see. So, I don't know how to really dye lace, but I'm kind of learning how. Um, and then... Uh, this was also a dollar. This must have been cut from something, but I really liked the mauve color of this. So I thought this was really pretty. Kind of got an iridescent goldish look. Um, so, um, yeah, I thought that was really pretty. I might need to cut this up and just use bits and pieces of it. Um... And then I think that's everything for, uh, you know, at the tabs, they had a bunch of tabs in the Hobby Lobby paper crafting aisle starting to get marked down. And they had a, they had a, we are memory keepers one, but I just was, I don't know if I showed this before, but this is an oldie, but a goodie. This is a McGill. If you see one of these, they, they do really, really well. Um, like it's a heavy duty one. But this is probably like 30 to 60 bucks on eBay, and mine was 250 So I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah. And um, let me see here. I went to Dollar Tree. I had a couple things from Dollar Tree, but I don't know where they went. Of course, it's always a thing. Um, so I got this um, file to, to put my um, ephemera in for the moment. It's a jot one. And then, oh yeah, I also got these watercolors. I didn't want expensive watercolors. I've already got some King Art uh, kind of gelato things to use. Um, and then uh, I went to Walmart to try and find just some primary cardstock, like colors. And I didn't, but I did find... Um, 
this, uh, I have either the marker or the coloring pencil set, and I really like the coloring pencil set. So this was two dollars. I don't know how much this would be online, but it has all of the colors of the world. And so it's got this really, their project paper, and, but this is, here, I'll just, so here is, this is kind of like a guide. Um, I just really liked the kind of, just the colors, like the pretty colors. I thought this was really pretty. So it's got like a color chart to use. So, and it feel it feels almost like vinyl slash cardstock, but it's just project paper. So, I mean, for 48 sheets, two, $2, that was a pretty good deal. And then this is Astro Brights. This is neon. I didn't really have any neon, but it has lunar blue, solar yellow, terra green, cosmic orange, and fireball fuchsia. So, <clears throat> Um, I still have the pastel stuff that I've been using from Pen and Gear, but I do like this car stock quite a bit. Um, um, and where is it? Um, so, and this is some of the coffee dyed papers I've done. You've seen the stamps. This is what I use for the Dollar Tree watercolor. And some graph paper that I got last year. So this will be great for a junk journal. I'm just kind of experimenting slash, you know, just trying things out. Um, and then the last thing that I got was a... The last thing that I got was a... Simply Defined Dies. This is from Scrapbooking Made Simple. This is, I think, an exclusive brand to Scrapbooking Made Simple. If you go onto their website right now, they still have at least 90% off. Um, so this is what I got. I probably spent about $30, but that was really worth it because these are really nice. Um, so this one is Classic Christmas Winter Skate Tour. This one is Over the River and Through the Woods Festive Cheer. And then if you go into the woods, you won't be afraid tonight. There's nothing to be afraid of if you go in the woods tonight. So there's that. And then, um, <laughs> Um, and then this is Perglimo. Uh, I got this, and when I went back to go look at the other things in the collection, this was completely sold out. And then this is Nana's Sampler, ready to pick. So, I thought this was really pretty. This has got a stitched edge, that's why I got this. And then this one, I was super excited about because this is... This reminds me of the Sleeping Beauty castle, but this is a kaleidoscope once upon a time. And so with the papers that I got, hopefully I can make a card or just, you know, use this for junk journaling. Um, but it's got at least 18 dies in here. So you can use a cloud, you can use mountains, trees, I mean, for this, it took a while to get here, I'd say about a month, but I was, I was excited because I'm like, I kind of want to go back and see if they have some interest, other dyes and see what the else they have. But like I said, I've already got enough to work with and I'm pretty happy with what I found. So anyway, this is the last of the haul video. Um, I'll try and do some project makes and share it with you guys. Have a good day.